What's up guys? Have you ever wondered what's inside a face tester? I have and today we're going to find out because I broke mine and it's completely unusable. But before we dig into it, I want to check something on a fresh one. In this setup, I already got a new tester connected to the face. The red probe represents my finger and the black probe closes the circuit to the ground. The multimeter here is set to a range of 2 milliamps AC and when I press the switch, I get a reading of about 0.7 milliamps. So that's the maximum current that flows through my body when I touch it here. Based on that, we can assume there's a resistor of about 1 mega ohm in here or something like that. Let's find out! So after a quick cleanup we got these two body parts here, a spring, the little metal connector and the main piece, the blade I think it's called. But when we take all of this away, this is pretty much the heart piece of the face tester and we're gonna take a closer look at this. We almost got it. And there we go. There's one contact of the lamp. Let's focus here. One contact of the lamp going into this end, right there. And the other is bent around, goes up here, is then wound around here and then it connects to the spring it's sitting sitting in there this way to the spring to the little connector plate and then here would be the tip of your finger touching it and i'm gonna look up what kind of resistor this is because i don't know them by heart so i looked up the color code and it really seems like we got a one mega ohm resistor here there's the brown for a one the black for a zero and uh, the green one as a multiplier 10 to the power of 5 and then the gold one for a 5% tolerance. To confirm this we're gonna measure the resistor to see if it's really one mega ohm. So let's get that set up. When I measure this across the lamp I get an overload at 2 mega ohms of range and even at 20 mega ohms I get an overload. Now the thing is um, it took me a while to figure that out because I thought well the lamp shouldn't add that much resistance but if you look very close I'm not sure if you can see it but there's actually no connection between the two conductors inside the lamp. So I think that's quite interesting it's an air gap and I think the way it works is because of the resistor, it's not a spark gap, but there would be electrons flowing through the air, heating up the elements and causing that slight glow without sparking and without overheating it. I think that's how it works. And if you guys got more insight on that, please share it because I really like to understand things on a more, well, deeper level. and. Um, yeah, that's why I'm doing these videos. So let's measure it at the right point and that would be here directly at the end of the resistor. Switch that one back on, change the range. Oh, oh shit. Uh, And that gives a reading of 1.13 mega ohms. And that fits together with the color code we looked at and also includes the tolerance. So yeah, that's pretty much the wrap up of what's inside a phase tester. 
it's basically a resistor and a lamp which does not have continuity, which has an air gap. And I think that's quite interesting to know. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did, because I really enjoy taking things apart, looking inside them, and that's why this series is called What's Inside. I see you in the next one.